Hey everybody, it's June 22nd and I'm heading back to the woods. Um, I figured while I was on the way I would give a shout out to the House of Representatives for passing the Great American Outdoors Act today. Um, probably something a year ago I wouldn't have even known about. Um, in Tennessee, I hunted probably 95% private land and 5% public land. So uh, maintaining management areas and state game areas and any, any sort of public land wasn't something that I thought about often. Uh, being in Michigan now, not knowing anybody, dealing with the coronavirus, I probably hunt public land 90% uh, of the time and, and private land 10% of the time. So now it's a huge deal to me. And uh, I've just learned how important it is to have it as a resource because there's so many hunters just like me out there that, that don't have a ton of private land available. And it's probably just going to become less and less with the more that gets snatched up, um, leased out, chopped up, developed. So, um, yeah, big shout out to the House of Representatives today. I suppose the next step would be it just goes on the president's desk and when he signs it, it goes through. And then what it does is it just... Uh, uh, gives the money that uh, necessary each year to uh, to public lands to maintain them and uh, that's that should be important to all of us hunters so shout out to that and uh, besides that I'll see you guys when we get to the woods all right guys um first drop Hank does this thing where he doesn't always go the direction I tell him to so he swirled around on me and got over on uh, some private property but I was uh, lucky enough to, to gather him up um, so I drove to this new spot here just cut him loose um, while we're waiting I figured I might go through some of the RQEs this weekend um, getting down to the nitty gritty I'm getting a dog qualified for the world hunt this year so uh let's see july 24th uh this friday there's only one on the schedule and that's in gate city virginia um and then on saturday july 25th we have a few here uh we have one in rydal georgia bryant indiana stripper mississippi and pomeroy ohio so there you go got till august 29th that'll be the last day to qualify your dog so um, better get it while the getting's good. Till then, uh, I'll get back with you whenever Hank gets struck in. Thank you. All right, y'all, got an update. Um, so yeah, I said on the last drop, he, he wheeled around on me and we got on some proper property. And I did give him a little bit of correction because when I cut him loose away, I want him to go that way unless he wheels around and trees one close that he might have winded coming in. But he had ran a couple hundred yards out of the way and was crossing a road. So I kind of got onto him a little bit. And I don't know if he went haywire or what. But you see the truck way over here. You see him tree over here. That is 1.82 miles. Luckily I was able to drive within 850 yards of him. Or else I would probably be pretty irritated right now. But um, he's treed in there right now. So... I'm going to try to let my blood pressure go down before I get in here. <laughs> so I'll probably see you guys with the tree. Right on the side of the river bank. I will say it sounds pretty good echoing down there. And he's on the other side of the river. So let's figure this out. Boy, I know you're hot, but uh, me too. There's this coon. I wish I had my 22. I'd shoot that son of a gun out. About drowning me in here in this quicksand. Jeez. Hey, Hank. Here's some. Before we start the walk back, might as well. Empty out a little bit, got a little high. But 
but I keep it on this side of the river, would you? Well, I made it back to the truck. Uh, that'll be the only drop for tonight. Um, I believe I'll just try to make it home in one piece and get in bed and be thankful that I'm not uh, <laughs> stuck in the quicksand in the bottom of that uh, swamp back there. It's uh, unusual territory for uh, a guy that grew up in the mountains, but I'll get used to it. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully next time it'll be a little bit better. <laughs>